After being brought in by the RSPCA, Maru was preparing to replace a red kite's severely damaged feathers. Is it 10? Primary is at 10. Ah, to impin more or less at 10 in each wing. Um, so then, yeah, primary is usually 10 feathers. Usually, there is some species that have more, but the, in general, they 10 feathers. And then from there you count the ones that go uh, with the ulna, let's say, are secondaries. All of them are really important for the flight, so if you can put them back, that's probably why he can fly, because he has no flight feathers, literally. No favorite part of the glue. <laughs> let's get the party started. Marisol, let's count. Can I ask you to get uh, like a, you know that scrap paper that we have in there? Yes. So just, it's just to put it under the feathers, basically. Mm -hmm. So I need the fifth, so it's this one. I don't know how this bird destroyed the feathers, but we did a mess. Let's see if we can save part of the shaft. First, let's check that this match is too long, but so we need to cut a little bit, a sticky bit. I, in, in my, can you pass me the cotton buds, please? If you just leave them there, it's just to, trim, to remove the, the glue that is annoying me at some point. Color is a little bit different. I don't think he would mind that. <laughs> he won't mind that, I think. This, this bird is molting, so you have a few gaps. But I, I didn't remove the feather, obviously, because he's molting, so the feather will grow naturally. So that's one wing. And now to do this one. Yeah, this one is, I think it's more or less the same, or even less in this one. One, two, three, four, five. Emma, we're gonna rotate the bird, okay? Because mm -hmm. half an hour to do that wing. Mm -hmm. So half an hour to do this one roughly. And I think in this wing is a few, a couple less than the other one, so that should work. The fact that you're putting the the stick. That's why I was cutting. I mean, you need to be careful that you don't push it too far so you don't damage the follicle, obviously. Mm -hmm. That's why I usually measure and Just cut nice. them around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think this is the last one. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect, we're done. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay, so let's wake him up. The following day, the kite was ready for a flight test. Passing with flying colours, it was later collected for release by Lewis, one of the RSPCA's animal collection officers. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel by pressing the red button and make sure you hit the bell to get notifications of our latest content. If you want to help us save wildlife, please donate. Every pound you give will help us to save